Excuse me, sir. <laughs> For me, we do. All right, at six o'clock, we'll start out with a word of prayer. Kind of heaven, gracious Father, we just thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day that you've given us to enjoy, God. We thank you for protecting our community recently when there was potential for bad weather, Lord, and keeping us all safe. God, we lift the Sutter's family up to you tonight, to God, Lord, as former Commissioner Robert Sutter, his family has lost his father to God. We just pray that you wrap your arms around them and comfort them and console them, Lord, as only you can at a difficult hour like this. And Lord, we just pray for your guidance tonight. I pray that you give us the wisdom and the discernment to make the right decisions for Tiff County. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right, we'll call the workshop to order. And if there's anyone here that'd like to come talk to us for five minutes or less without any issue, anybody like to come speak to us? All right, so in no movement. We move on to appointments. And we have a proclamation for Child Abuse Prevention Month that we're going to present Phil Betterto Hernandez tonight. So we'll do that at this time. All right. Let me do some reading here for you, Phil Betterto. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whereas Tiff County prides itself on giving back to the community, contributing to the quality of life among our citizens, and whereas Tiff County Council on Child Abuse has organized a public awareness campaign to focus on awareness and prevention activities and services necessary to eliminate child abuse as part of the National Observance of Child Abuse Prevention and Awareness Month, and whereas approximately 269 children in Tiff County suffer from some form of abuse or neglect each year, and whereas through a national effort, Tiff County citizens are encouraged to join together to raise awareness throughout the month of April for these children falling victim to abuse and neglect, giving those abused and neglected children a chance for a safe and positive future. <clears throat> Therefore, I, Tony McBrayer, Chairman of the Tiff County Board of Commissioners, on behalf of the Board of Commissioners in Tiff County, do proclaim April 2023 Tiff County Child Abuse Prevention and Awareness Month in Tiff County, and in doing so, <clears throat> urge all citizens to join in a national effort to raise awareness and help prevent child abuse and neglect. Thank you for all that y'all do to help us out, child. Take care of the children. Yes. Sure. Okay. At this time, we'll have a proclamation of appreciation from Commissioner Melissa Hughes. Okay, this proclamation is for someone who don't know that they're getting this. And that is Duncan McCluskey. <laughs> you called me four times in the last two days. <laughs> and I didn't say anything to you about it, did I? <laughs> Duncan is so special for Tiff in the Tiff yes, County. Duncan cares about this community when it comes to living. And I know that firsthand, just like you ladies do, and the citizens of Tiff County. Duncan, we really appreciate you. And it is coming up to Arbor's Day, and that is the 22nd of May. And I'm here to tell you, when I say Duncan has gotten behind this and pushed everybody, I get so many emails where Duncan is ready for this to happen, and he wants the citizen of Tifton Tiff County to take part in this. He has spearheaded this thing, and Duncan, I just wanted to show you how much, not only me, but how much all of Tiff County appreciate you. And on behalf of Tiff County, whereas Duncan McCluskey takes his role on Keep Tiff Beautiful seriously and proudly, and whereas Mr. McCluskey desired to keep things beautiful started in 1968, when he and several others would pick up trash in Sigma Sigma Stream Grove. Sigma Stream Grove while walking their dogs. And whereas the cans picked up in that grove were given 
to the Boy Scout troop to help fund their activities. And whereas Mr. McCluskey continued to pick up trash and debris on and around the campus of Auburn University and then Abraham Baldwin Agriculture College where he was employed. And whereas 20 years ago, Mr. McCluskey was the first volunteer to join One Street at a Time and continues to still serve his community with their volunteers organization. Whereas, Till County Board of Commissioner wish to appreciate Ms. wish to appreciate to Duncan McCluskey for his 55 years of keeping things beautiful. Whereas, I, Melissa, Till County Commissioner Board of Commissioners, do hereby proclaim appreciation to Duncan McCluskey and in doing so, urge all citizens to join with us as we honor Mr. McCluskey for his contribution to keep Tiff beautiful. This day, this fourth day of April, B parcel 072. The property is currently zoned R21, medium density residential, and the requested zoning is RP, residential professional, for the purpose of having a real estate office. Chris. Thank you. <coughs> if the board so remembered, uh, last year, year before, Nelson Phoenix came before this board to rezone a piece of property that's adjacent to this piece to build his real estate office. Um, he never went forward with that property because he I guess he foresaw that the property beside him that had an existing structure on it was going to go up for sale. This is that parcel. Along that little strip along with the mill, you already have insurance, you have engineering, you have um, several businesses inside, professional businesses along that strip. This property is contingent to the property where we rezoned for him last year, year before. This went before the Board of Planning Commission uh, on March the 9th. They recommended approval, all were in favor. We posted signs, we run ads in the paper. We haven't had anyone come by the office or call the office. There was no one in the planning commission to speak in opposition of this. I'd be more than happy. He's gonna leave that structure there and he's gonna remodel it and make that his real estate office and use the lot beside it as his parking. Any questions? Okay, we'll take that up Monday night and continue on there, sir. The uh, next one you have TC-TA-23-01. This is a text amendment. Uh, we, you, the board members, we had some confusion uh, that we wanted to do a little house cleaning in the table of uses concerning concrete plants. It was not actually listed in our table of uses. What we recommend is adding 5-43A concrete batch plants, permanent and portable, as permissible in WLI and HI. Um, the description of WLI and HI is the only thing that we have currently in our order to describe a, a concrete plant. And with the new concrete plants and the studies that we've done, we feel like WLI and HI are suitable zoning districts for a concrete plant. It went before the Planning Commission on March the 9th. They recommend approval with a recommendation of supplemental standards to this board. And if you'll permit me, I'll read those few <coughs> supplemental standards. They would like to see extra buffers with six foot across the fence added to a 10 foot buffer from residential zone properties. Property lots for the concrete plant must be directed to the inside of the property. Hours of operation not to exceed 6 p.m. during weekdays. A minimum five acre parcel requirement and or must be located on an arterial road. We present this to you with those supplemental standards for the board for your consideration on the concrete plants. Any questions? Yeah. What you mean by that extra buffer? What they 
what they told me. You, you got to put something negative. Give it an extra that the, whoever develops a future concrete plant is intending to come to Jeff County, they would have to have an extra 10 foot of buffer between them and a residential zone. Okay. Do we expect a lot of those? No, ma'am, but this would, this would rectify some issues we've had in the past. TA-23-02, this is going right hand in hand with uh, asphalt plants. Asphalt plants are not named and not ordered currently in the table of uses. What we would recommend to the board is that 5-33, which is already an existing line item in our table of uses, to state hazardous combustible materials such as asphalt, coal, petroleum storage, and or distribution, including asphalt plants. That's the only thing that we would like to add so that we have a clear definition of where asphalt plants go, which would be in the HI district. Questions? Okay, thank you, Chris. Thank you, Board. <coughs> All right, moving on to items to be discussed for regular session on April 10th. It's 5.1 Tiff County DUI Drug Court Supplemental Grand Award. Michelle. Hey there. Hello. Hey there. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Much short and sweet. We're just, uh, the DUI Drug Court's asking that the Board of Commissioners accept the Supplemental Grand Award in the amount of $2,406 purchase a, a computer and printer. Okay, any questions? Senator Jim? Thank you. Thank you. We're short sweet. <laughs> Alright, 5.2 um, FY23 Technology Grant Award for Adult Family Drug Court. Um, I don't know that Miss Donna knew that she should have come here to present her item, um, but she is has applied for a technology grant just like Michelle's grant, and um, they've awarded her $4,325, and it does not require a match. And that's for a new desktop and uh, two laptop computers. Yes, what is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody okay? I just can send it in. Okay. All right. 5.3 approval of ENRs for tax commissioner. Mr. Chair, tax commissioner, uh, <laughs> right here. But uh, there are two real property accounts, um, 20 personal property accounts and four mobile home accounts that need to have their uh, have the taxes for multiple years written off for accounts no longer active and not able to be sold at a tax sale. He uh, attached the uh, corresponding documentation that identifies the parcel that he's talking about so that it comes with a recommendation to the tax commissioner that we uh, clean these off or clean this up and, and write these off. We do this once a year. I don't know. We're going to drive to do that. But, uh, you didn't excuse him? No, sir. Mm -hmm. I'll flog him personally tomorrow. <laughs> if you'll tell me when you do that, I want to join in. <laughs> yeah, we need to give him some grief. It's over fun. <laughs> Any questions? All right. It's out of general. Okay. 5.4 Eaton UPS maintenance contract. Al? <coughs> Any commissioners? Good evening. Uh, Tiff County has uh, two uh, uh, UPS is under uninterruptible power supplies. We use uh, one of these uh, in the 911 operation center that houses all of our servers, uh, powers the uh, 911 consoles, and then the power is interrupted. It's a battery backup, keeps them up and running. Uh, you keep them up and running for about eight hours, but hopefully only keeps them up. About 30 seconds to generate kicks on you know, generate power. We also have a smaller unit that is in the, the radio tower uh, that powers the radio system over there, the tower the sheriff's office. The smaller unit is the same thing, keeps backup power up and running until the generator kicks off. Uh, these need to be on the maintenance contract. They come out, uh, any, any problems with them, they'll uh, fix them. They also come out and do some, some maintenance on them. Uh, this is a year of the contract. It's uh, expired now. We need to, to redo it. Uh, we'll come out here and get us ready for hurricane tornado season. So this is a renewal. Yes, sir. You remember what the contract was before? Uh, it was same type terms. Uh, it may have been a hundred or two hundred dollars plus. Or more. So we had to change companies. Uh, one of the reasons why we're not before you earlier is the, the person that we dealt with uh, left the company, so we had to find the right rep. That's really good. Oh, a lot of Sir, just to 
pray this down in the normal people's tongue type when you speak. <laughs> when the power goes off, we, we do have we do have generators, big generators that, that power that whole facility. But yeah. there's that there's that instant between the power going off and the generators kicking on, which would cause the whole 911 center and the whole radio system to go down with a loss of power. So what the UPSs do is the power, you know, basically the power comes into those and then goes to that equipment. So they're getting a steady line of equipment off those batteries. So if it goes down, they hold it up and allow the generator to kick back in and replace that source. So used to it was all about having a few minutes before it shut down and back everything up and turn everything out. Now it's about giving our generators time to kick off so we can continue operation. So we don't have to do a total reboot of our whole emergency operation system. As you guys know, seconds and minutes can uh, make a big deal when, when you're talking about public safety radio and communication. Any questions? Consent agenda. All right. Continue on with that uh, resolution. Surplus equipment. Yes. Um, and the, over the last uh, year, we've been uh, doing some hardware refreshes, replacing workstations. Um, we've got 84 of them that have been taken out uh, and replaced with newer equipment. Uh, we're uh, <coughs> ready to ask you guys to let us dispose of them. Uh, we, we've already taken the hard drives out of them, and we will uh, wipe them with a, with a special piece of software. Uh, what we're taking to the recycling place right now is just a, a hard contents of uh, the, the main uh, external box and the components that are having no data on. Uh, we'll take them to a, play, a metal recycling place in Moultrie. Uh, they'll, they'll cut us a little small check, <laughs> <laughs> a very small check for, for the metal that they can salvage. Pay for the gas to get the Moultrie. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any questions? Consent agenda. All right, thank you, Al. Thank you. Denim for Watkins and Associates Agreement for the LV project. Jason. Good evening, Commissioner. Good evening. How are you? Uh, this is the addendum for Watkins and Associates to assist with the advertising for bids for the uh, whole bid up to prepare bid tabulations, prepare contract documents for the 23 LMIG resurfacing. <coughs> That's what we do, Mr. Chairman. I'm sorry. And, and the next one would, 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 would verify what we, what he's doing. But, uh. All right, so, so the bid, once we have they go out to bid and we receive the bid, then we'll come back in and talk to you about what, uh, what the LB project came in at. Yeah. What's next? Yeah. So, I'm sorry, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions on the first one? All right, consent agenda on that one. All right, go ahead, Jay. Next one, five bids will receive and open on March 29th, 2023 for the uh, 23 LMIG resurfacing project, which is Jack Bankston Road and Shula Windmill, 4.7 miles. Reeves Construction Company was the uh, lowest bid at that, $1,395,684. Um, Reeves Construction Company. What's that mile, You put me on spot, Mr. Gordon. I'll figure it out. I'm just curious. Um, I got um, 4.7 miles. Yeah, 4.7 miles. Uh, as y'all can see, used to we could get 11 miles for that same money. Hmm. Inflation. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, consent Any questions? Consent agenda. Thank you, Jason. Item 5.8, uh, Animal Control Ordinance Amendment, Mr. Carter. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the pro this is a proposed amendment, uh, actually two changes to the Animal Control Ordinance. It includes uh, the addition of two definitions and then uh, uh, and a section, uh, code section, uh, which will be added 14-21, 14 14 14-21.1. Regulating the grazing and foraging of animals. Uh, I'll just will briefly. Uh, this is an order for the purpose of amending Chapter 14 Animals, Article 1, uh, in general Division 1 purpose, in general provisions, Section 14 2, definitions of Division 2, offenses and violations of, it's basically our code of ordinances. Um, amended Chapter 14, 
and it comes down to adding these two definitions just to quit reading all the legalese. Uh, forage means food for animals, especially when taken by browsing or grazing. Grazing means an animal foraging, feeding, or eating grass or other uh, growing herbage. Um, and you come down in the actual change to the ordinance, which will be added as 14-21-1. It shall be unlawful for any person to allow any animal to graze or forage for food on or about the streets, highways, and public rights of way owned or maintained uh, by the county slash city or on the property of another person without permission of the owner of that property or of the person in possession of that property. So what this does is says if you've got a, got a cow or you got a goat or you, whatever, that you cannot allow them to feed uh, in the public right of ways next to roads uh, and are on personal property not belonging to you. And uh, it's just clearing up that in our ordinance. We've had a, little, a few issues with this, and uh, I think this will help animal control it. Uh, move these cases along a little bit. So the Donnie cow can't come over to my house? Not unless you tell him you can. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Donnie. Okay. You're telling him now that he can. <laughs> that he can. That'll work. Any other questions? <laughs> All right, consent agenda. I just want to wait right before we put it on a consent agenda. Wait before yeah, we put it on. Yeah, I just like to change the read. I hadn't read it yet. Okay, so we just put it on a regular agenda. Everybody fine with that, Reverend Jim? Yeah. All right, 5.9 resolution, uh, well, comprehensive plan update adoption. Ms. Jordan? Um, a few weeks ago, Loretta was here for our public hearing to transfer um, comp plan to DCA, and DCA didn't have any comments. It was, they approved the plan, so now we just need to adopt it, and that's what this resolution will do. Okay, any questions? They but they did comment on the logo. Yes, they said it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, consent agenda. All right. No items for discussion only, unless somebody's got something on here. All right, Mr. Clark, you come in. I do need an executive session uh, for our personnel, Mr. Chairman, and legal. Briefly, I promise briefly. Uh, <laughs> you alluded to the fact that uh, my former Commissioner Sutter's father passed away about 7 o'clock last night. And most of you know he's been sick. And, uh, and, um, so if we can keep Ross's family in prayers, that would be, I think, that uh, we're starting to work on uh, squad projects. Uh, staff's working on that. Um, we've also talked last month about bringing in a, an engineer to do a feasibility study on, on solid waste management. Tony and I have met with him. He made a request for documents, which I submitted to the city. And uh, actually, I was not expecting them back to Friday, but it looks like on my emails today that I've gotten everything back from Miss Beeman already. So I'll be forwarding those mm -hmm. to the engineer. Um, and uh, starting the week of the 7th, I think we'll start having budget here at that time of the year. All I would like to mention Mr. Carter's had a birthday since the last time we met. His uh, years, I can speak from experience, his years is finally starting to catch up and color his hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. I do have one other thing to add. I meant I was going to do this afterwards. There's a, there's a, a good chance that I, I may not be here Monday night. Uh, my eldest daughter is uh, scheduled for a C section for my second grandchild. Uh, depending on how that goes, uh, I will or I won't. But, uh, Mr. Walker and Mr. Fowler are uh, prepared to stand in. Early congratulations. Yes. Thank you. All right, Mr. Brown. That's a good name. Yeah. Ms. Hughes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I don't know uh, that we have Jason here and Mr. Carter. I think they're in the box. I'm sorry, Mr. Sir. Where are we with that uh, the project over there? Donnie and uh, Norman, yeah, and well, we materials are being ordered right now for the uh, water and sewer portion of the project, and they're just gathering everything up, getting ready to get started. Okay, so it, it, and, you know, with the weather, we we did not expect to start okay. until the first of April okay. because of the weather. And you can, as you see, with as much rain we got, everything's pretty much on hold. But uh, any time now is, is good to start. 
When your phone starts ringing, you're going to know it's dark. <laughs> Give it to you. Happy Easter, everyone. That's it. Okay. All right. As I said, we do need an executive session for personnel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you're surprised. Well, I kind of suspected it with all the times you called me. Are you going to be there? Gonna be there? <laughs> here, let's get our picture back. Get up here and let's get our picture back. She wants to Get up here. Here's Sniper. Here's Sniper. How you doing? Great. Yes, sir. You good. Get on those side of him. Get up that side of him. He's going to move around. A rose between two feet. Yeah, moving around. He's got the table with Mr. Walker. Very good. What do you got? Another viewer? Great. That's what I tell my sister. I say, he's our hero. What is this? He's untold hours. It's Earth Day.